Hi, this is Dimitri Badyarov. Welcome back. Speaking to you from my workshop. As usual, in this video, I want to demonstrate the differences between the playing postures on the violoncello da spalla and the ordinary viola. First of all, I want to put the two instruments side by side so that you can see the differences in sizes. The viola is 412 millimeters, so as you can see, the violoncello da spalla is so much larger. But the point I want to make in this video is that it is not more unnatural to play the violoncello da spalla than it is to play the viola. It is actually quite the opposite. So, in order to demonstrate, to illustrate my point, I will take the viola and the bow and I will show you the normal viola playing posture. So you raise your left arm, you turn your head slightly to the left and you also need to raise your right arm just a little bit slightly, but you have to raise it a little bit. And this is the normal uh, healthy viola playing posture. Now I want to pick the violoncello da spalla and show you the posture on the violoncello da spalla. <clears throat> That's it. You do not need to turn your left, your head to the left. You do not need to raise your left arm anywhere high. You do not need to raise your right arm anywhere. It, your hands remain actually in a pretty natural posture. That's how we speak to each other. That's how we communicate to other humans. And that's how we play the violoncello da spalla. Let me pick the bow. I hope this illustrates the point that it is a lot more comfortable, a lot more natural to play the violoncello da spalla than it is to play the violin or the viola. If this is what was stopping you from boarding into this discovery, then <laughs> let it be not an obstacle. I hope this helps. I welcome you to comment below this video, share it with your friends so that they also can learn about this amazing instrument, the instrument of choice for Johann Sebastian Bach and so many other important cello composers, the predecessor of the modern day cello that today you too can rediscover. Thanks for watching. This was Dimitri Badiaro, violin designer, violin maker, speaking to you from my workshop in The Hague, the Netherlands, and I look forward to Seeing you in the next video.